There are a couple of aspects to the acquisition of the mining systems that is now part of FR Schmidt. Um, one of the aspects is uh, clearly that the um, portfolio is now actually um, much, much wider than it was before. The good thing is that the group that we actually acquired, compared also to the group that was already part of FN Schmidt, like for Morocco and other parts of the materials handling, they more or less have the same DNA. Like they were both groups that were out of the box thinkers and they fit very well together. And you can already see that in the integration process, how quickly those two groups actually cooperate. That brings us into the unique position as FL Schmidt that we are the only OEM on the market that actually can provide the full value chain from pit to the port in principle. And we are closing a couple of portfolio gaps that we've had before, which is uh, very good because that actually adds value to the customer processes and also adds value to the process working together with the customer to find the right solutions. In addition, being active in the processing side as well as in the mining side combines actually two very, very important aspects of the mining um, value chain and this way we can actually then also add aspects to the productivity our customers are looking for and productivity gains and also closing of productivity gaps that we clearly see currently on the market. Cutting the truck fleets uh, is definitely one of the main drivers to say very bluntly and uh, uh, looking for alternatives, looking for other means of transportation of material in the mine from A to B is actually what every operator is currently looking at. And, um, Conveyors is certainly one main key aspect in doing that, a very economical alternative to trucks. And IPCC as being the last C in the IPCC is uh, certainly a, a cornerstone of that. And um, that's what a lot, of, a lot of operators look for. How can we get this material the cheapest way from A to B? And um, of course that requires changes in the mine planning, that requires changes in the way of working on the operator side, on the, um, from the mining houses, from the mining companies, and from everyone involved. Um, but still, it is absolutely inevitable that the way we were going so far cannot continue. So we have to come up with alternatives, and this is also a responsibility from us as an OEM to approach our customers with alternatives and provide them with alternatives or develop them together with them. Crusher selection is, of course, a key discipline in, in uh, introducing IPCC. I mean, the right selection of the, crush, of the crusher is so important. If you don't get it right, then uh, you run into a whole lot of problems. And the good thing is, F.L. Schmidt is very good in selecting the right crushers and has so far a very good track record in having made the right selections and the right choices for the crushers. But even if you have the crusher selection right, that's not the end of the story. You still have to make sure that the crusher is actually operating in a plant that is suitable to deliver what the customer actually expects in terms of why he's actually introducing that IPC solution to his operations. Um, the other aspect is um, what we always try to do is by selecting the crusher itself as a comminution element. How does that actually positively influence the downstream process uh, of the material if it's product and it goes to the mill um, or if it's going to a secondary crushing or tertiary crushing or even if it's just going to the, to the waste dump or to the tailings. Since we are also uh, delivering downstream equipment and are very familiar with all the processing side of the, of the mining, um, that gives us a good, good opportunity to actually also um, give credible solutions to the customer that is not only um, focusing on the individual element of the IPCC, but also provides benefits to the downstream equipment. And this is actually what we are striving for, to look at the whole value chain and the whole comminution and processing chain up to the very end. We currently see interests on uh, existing mines with expansion programs and also on, on new greenfield projects. Um, what they all have in common and the most sincere interest on IPCC is usually from operators and mines who have already introduced conveyors because this is where the major savings are. Um, mines who have already operating systems uh, with conveyors um, have fully understood where the savings are and how to operate them and they are also not afraid 
of any changes in the maintenance regime compared to trucks. So they are very much used to this and they, have fully, they fully appreciate the savings that come along with uh, transporting material via conveyors in contrast to doing that with trucks. And um, I think this is, this is um, the, the best bet when it comes to uh, new IPCC systems. However, we also of course have um, greenfield projects of operators who have not yet introduced any conveyors. And um, that usually also takes a little longer in terms of convincing customers where the savings are. And this is our task to provide the proof that the productivity um, comes from the savings in the conveyor system. Lower OPEX, um, more stable operations, more robust operations, less downtime. Yes, definitely. There is an increasing interest. Um, aspects here are twofold. Um, on the one hand, it's a pure risk management issue. Um, operating a tailings dam is an environmental burden that the operations have to carry. Um, Nobody is 100% sure what happens if a tailing dam fails. We have seen some disastrous incidents with tailing dams, and that has rattled the industry a little bit. So everybody now is on his tiptoes when it comes to, comes to tailing dams. And that can ultimately even lead to the fact that the insurance premiums for the operations go up if you are uh, employing a tailing dam. Now, the Echo Tails, what we are offering, is certainly a good solution to overcome that problem. Um, Commingling of um, wet tailings together with overburden and dumping them into a pretty stable um, uh, into a pretty stable stockpile or into a pretty stable uh, waste dump is actually a very good solution to overcome this tailing stem problem. The second aspect is water recovery. And what we currently see and have also seen in the past is big investments for desalination plants, especially in Chile, in Peru, to supply water up to the mines. And uh, this costs a fortune and is an extremely complicated undertaking. And um, if you can save 95% of your water usage, um, that is a tremendous saving. It's a tremendous saving not only um, financially, but, it's all, but it's, it is also a resource saving. And that is an uh, uh, ecological aspect, that is an environmental aspect and that is also a, a social aspect um, which increases actually your license to operate. And this is an aspect that a lot of operators are following up and we see an increasing interest in these solutions. It very much depends on the shape of the deposit um, and on the definition of 100% uh, fully mobile. Uh, you will always have a couple of trucks in your minds probably doing some um, supplementary work around the systems. Um, in general, if you have a horizontal or rather horizontal and wide deposit, like sedimentary deposits, then uh, fully mobile is usually a good option. Um, it is not so practical if you go to round shape deposits. Gold, copper are usually not that suitable. Um, there are a couple of um, good fully mobile solutions as well but it's still a niche pro, um, product. So I would say that um, depending on the deposit side um, or on the deposit shape, it is definitely a chance that we will see 100% fully mobile operations. Um, but this will then be limited to these deposits who actually can accommodate these times, types of uh, equipment and also shiftable conveyors and conveyor systems that have to move with the face. I think that we have come a long way in the last decade, I would say. Um, being around in the industry now since 20 years, if you have had discussions with operators 20 years ago, um, hardly anyone wanted to talk to you about IPCC unless they already knew what it is. So it was very, very hard to introduce IPCC to mines um, who were not really exposed to any of this technology and it was shovel truck full stop. Now today that totally changed and um, today every greenfield project, every expansion, even brownfield projects are actually um, carrying out an investigation whether there are any alternatives to, sho uh, to shovel and truck and this is a good thing. So in that regard we have already come, come a long way. But it's still a long way to go because we constantly have to come up with new solutions. Um, we see that the current solutions have their limitations 
And um, the next step certainly is that we need to induce more intelligence in these solutions. So digitalization, automation, these are the, the aspects we have to look at. The mechanical side is pretty far advanced and there will still be a lot of um, innovations required and also possible. But the big steps, the big um, uh, changes forward will come through digitalization and automation in the mind, in intelligent systems, in feedback of information back to the, to the central control center to give the operators um, a tool to make decisions uh, in the operations. Now, we have an op automation group within our FL Schmidt group who is actually um, working on exactly these solutions and having a chief digital officer um, in our executive management team will certainly push this um, further uh, forward and um, we are all quite thrilled about that. So the, the, um, the good thing here is that we are prepared to do that and to work with our customers uh, on these solutions. The mines and all deposits are all unique. They all have their unique shape, their unique constraints um, from compressive stre uh, strengths to, of the material to humidity and uh, all the other things, country risks and so on and so on. And we have to constantly work with our customers and, uh, how to increase the productivity and I think that we are as ever very well prepared for that.